Hey guys, welcome to a new video. It's a bit different from normal because, well, I wasted multiple hours of recording because I didn't check my uh, mic. So I have three full episodes without any audio. Well, I'm not just going to let the footage go to waste, so I'll be doing a little recap here and then you'll see what yeah, what we've done those three episodes because <laughs> we've done quite a lot. So let's get right into it. So with regards to animation we replaced our trusty old uh, what you call it infernal furnace with a hellfire kiln. It's less cool but it is way easier to automate. And that's also going to be the trend the first video, automating and mainly through the use of logistics pipes. Another important thing we did this episode was hook up some auto crafting for the logistics chassis, which is yeah, it's pretty handy because I don't want to craft those by hand. So up next was a blood altar because blood magic provides some pretty good armor, and that was the plan for this episode. But that seemed like it was quite a hassle doing that because well. It is FTB interaction after all. So the first and easiest thing for the blood altar, the rock wool. Rock wool ain't that hard. Just wool and gravel in a mixer. And some water, but hey, water is free. And that also ended up being a Britannia quest, which was really handy. Got some bonus rock wool. So then we discovered we need to go towards the nether. So let's start working towards the nether. Uh, what do we need? Obsidian, thormium, steel ain't that hard. Oh, angel blocks. Angel blocks pretty hard. And liquid death. So, it ended up being a bit more of a rabbit hole than we expected. But that's what we're playing it back for, so it don't really matter. Up next was making some thormium. Just dumped into the cauldron. One of the harder things in the nether portal was liquid death, so we had to do some research. And next episode will end up not being too complicated, but well, it's still liquid death. And we started out uh, next episode with making some liquid death and a lot of flux, but hey, it's just flux, doesn't really matter. After making liquid death, we started making something a bit more peaceful, namely a starlight crafting altar, which we could, funnily enough, craft during the day. Which I personally I didn't expect it, but I hey, don't really matter, does it? Crafting up some angel blocks. And if next was actually crafting and constructing a nether portal, thus giving us access to another very dangerous dimension. So the rest of the episode was just essentially nether exploration, so enjoy some good music while you see me run through the nether really quick. Botania, and more specifically a dandelion. But before we could get into that, we first needed a mana spreader. Which, well, without that, you can't do Botania. And then we could craft up a dandelion, which, as I think I already said, is really OP. And then between episodes, I'd set up the area for dandelion and show it. Now that 
between episodes already done. And yes, I'm right, that thing is really OP. And, well, it feels full diluted at Manipals and Run Run. So, yep, completely happy with it, that. And then while you're just watching black screen, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a really short episode, 5 minutes recap, 1 and a half hour video. But, it has to do. And then next episode, we will get on with doing some Botania bot magic and all the other sorts of magic. So, I will see you guys then. And before I forget it, according to YouTube, most of you guys ain't subscribed. So, please subscribe if you ain't. And I will note I also have a Twitter at BlackDragon2447, just post updates there, not not too often, but sometimes. Like when I actually waste three episodes because audio doesn't work. So with that, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.